right today in um, fractions we'll be looking at addition and subtraction of fractions now you have to uh, take note when fractions are put together or when we have to find the difference here we're told that a piece of plank two whole number one over five centimeter thick is glued to another piece that means it is brought together which is 1 3 over 4 so 2 1 over 5 is brought together bring together one whole number 3 over 4 centimeter thick to form a tabletop find the thickness of the tabletop if the glue used is 1 over 5 centimeter that's 1 5 centimeter thick in other words we are bringing the three fractions together the glue is bringing these two fractions together to make the table top. All right, so these are the three fractions brought together. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is to find the LCM of the denominator. That is 5, 4, and 5. All right, so in doing this, we say 2 will go into 5. And it won't go, of course, so we write our 5 down. Then 2 into 4 is 2. And 2 into 5 is 5. When we say into, that means 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? Then we go again. This time we 2 again. 2 will not go into 5 again. So we write our 5 down. 2 into 2 is 1. And then 2 will not go into 5. So you put your 5 down. So we are done with 1. So we have just 5 to go. So we go with 5. Remember, your prime numbers are... 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29, 31, 37. Okay, so that's your prime number uh, from 1 to 40. Okay, so after 2, we have 3. So since 3 will not go into any of these numbers, we use 5. 5 into 5 is 1. We are done with this, so we write 1. And then 5 into 5, 1. So our LCM will be 2 times 2, 4 times 5, which will give you 20. So our LCM, we put it under here. So it's on the denominator. Remember, we found the LCM of the denominator. That's 5, 4, and 5. So these three numbers, their denominator is 20. So we say 5, the denominator 5 into denominator 20 and when we say into we mean 5 times what will give you 20 so what we go into this box of course we know it's 4 so 5 into 20 is 4 and then you get your numerator we want to get an answer of the numerator here so we say 4 times 1 which will give you 4 again we repeat the same process with 4 we say 4 times what will give you 20 that means 4 into 20 and that answer is 5 so now we've gotten the answer for denominator we say 5 times 3 to get the numerator 15 again we say 5 in all right so we say 5 into 20 will give you 4 okay and if you add the numerator together, you have 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 15 will give you 23 over 20. Okay? Now, the next thing we'll do is to add the whole numbers. That is 2 and 1. 2 plus 1, there's no whole number here. So, we have 2 plus 1 to give you 3. So, I write my 3 whole number here, just by the side. And, of course, the 3 whole number comes here. Alright, this is an improper fraction where we have 23 in the numerator and 20 in the denominator. Yet the 20 cannot, of course, hold this 23. So what do we do? You say 23 minus 20. So you'll be left with 3. So we are left with 3. So we say 3 will be left on the numerator. And then, of course, your denominator is always 20. Now, how many times is 20 going to 23? It's just once. We only subtracted once. So that one adds to 3 to give you 4. And so your answer will now be 4 whole number 3 over 20.
2020. Thank you.